So I've been on a bit of an My Little Pony kick as of late, so please excuse me as I indulge in some of it. And while I review one of my favorite MLP fanfics out there, Fallout Equestria Project Horizons, which a lot of people dislike it for good reasons. And personally, I do have a love-hate relationship with it. There are things I like and there are things I dislike. Project Horizons has a lot of themes relating to history and how the past leads up and affects our present. It also explores individual character motivations and psychology and what leads ponies to do bad things. But it does have some inconsistent themes to it. Which is a real shame because from the offset, Project Horizons has a great setup. It stars this incompetent security mare Blackjack and her stable is raided for this mysterious program. And in order to draw them out, she leaves with the program. And from there, she's running all across the wasteland, unlocking the mysteries of the past, evading bounty hunters and discovering exactly what this EC-1101 is. What I like about Project Horizons is that it gets more into the behind-the-scenes and the why of everything that happened in this universe that KCAT originally left vague. I'm a big history buff, so this pushes a lot of buttons for me. There are cover-ups, conspiracies, lies, murder, betrayal, high treason, unethical decision-making for the greater good, and patriotism. It details some of the major events during the war as well. It may not be what KCAT had in mind, but I think it's pretty cool to explore. A lot of the mysteries of the old world Blackjack uncovers often has ongoing ramifications in the wasteland. It's a nice commentary on how some of the really bad decisions our ancestors have made still have a huge impact on us today. And then there are the current mysteries she comes across in the present, such as what makes relatively sane ponies suddenly become cannibalistic. And to be honest, with the amount of mystery solving Blackjack does, Project Horizons could have been a great detective story set in Fallout Equestria. And some of the best parts of Project Horizons is when Blackjack goes into detective mode and slowly starts piecing together this massive puzzle of the equestrian wasteland. However, Project Horizons' biggest flaw is just how disjointed it feels. The original Fallout Equestria was grounded in its depressing atmosphere, whereas Project Horizons keeps switching back and forth between grimdark comedy, mystery, and romance. There are a lot of times where a really dark, depressing moment is happening and then Sumber will throw in a funny line that ruins what would otherwise be a deep, profound moment. He also keeps relying on this theme of what separates a good person between a bad person by introducing this moral dilemma Blackjack has with killing. At times she'll enjoy slaughtering others and at others she gets pathetically mopey about it and there's never really a solid middle ground. There's also too much emphasis on sex. That could have been toned down a lot. Another big issue with Project Horizons is just how ambitious it gets, to the point of overshadowing Fallout Equestria. At times, Blackjack becomes so overpowered and special, she becomes borderline Mary Sue, if not full-on Mary Sue. Especially near the end, with all of the cybernetic upgrades she receives, and also the revelations about herself she comes across over the duration of the story. It often breaks the believability of the Fallout series and the original story it's based on. As I said, Summer goes a lot into the history and politics of the war and all the nasty little things in the government that goes on with the decision making. But the problem with that is the introduction of Goldenblood and his shadow ministry, the Office of Inner Ministry Affairs. Goldenblood and a bunch of other characters effectively nullifies the impact the main six had on the war effort and takes all the credit away from them. For example, instead of Rainbow Dash being the one to come up with the Ministry of Awesome, Golden Blood gave her the idea. It's like throughout all of Project Horizon, Sombra was constantly trying to one-up KCAT and claiming his characters were secretly behind it all. He tries to make the story bigger and more complex, which just comes across as conceited, and it doesn't give KCAT's story its due credit. A lot of people cite the length of the story as to why they didn't like it and stopped reading it altogether, and I can see where they're coming from. Sometimes the pacing feels drawn out, some subplot story arcs could have been condensed, rearranged, or even cut out altogether. One thing that adds to the length of this story, I think, is how repetitive some of the themes can get. Like, Blackjack isn't an executioner, she has to do better, she's not a smart pony. It gets dull and annoying real fast, and after a certain point, it didn't even need to be said anymore. 
There are also a lot of characters, which there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that most of them are flat, forgettable, and even annoying. They often only have one thing going for them, and they're just one-dimensional, and that's the only thing about their character. And sometimes their personality quirks just feels out of place in a wasteland like this. To bring up a point that the ANY Pony mentioned in one of his chapter reviews, Fallout Equestria Project Horizons feels very anime-ish. And I think the closest example to this would have to be Bleach. It starts off okay, but it just gets more convoluted and bloated with ridiculousness the more the story goes on. And it can often make it hard to remember that this is originally based on a western developed game. However, despite all this, I still find Project Horizons to be fun to read. If you want something to entertain you, Project Horizons is the story for you. But if you want something more profound and thought-provoking, Fallout Equestria by KCAT wins that category. For those of you that ha that have read NLP fanfiction, have you read Project Horizons or the original Fallout Equestria? What did you think of those stories? I'd like to know, or yeah. Yeah, I would. I would like to know, yes. Please let me know, and also be sure to check out my latest review. It was, I think it was Off the Beaten Path by Rukus, yes. It's only an audio interview, or an audio review, so there's not really a lot of visuals for that. And also, you can check out my alternate gaming channel where I have started up uh, Tales from the Borderlands from Telltale Games. And also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.